Everybody's got a song to sing. Each boy and girl. This is our world. I say our, you say world. Our, world, our, world. I say boy, you say girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. I say everybody move. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. This is our world. Everybody's got a song to sing. Each boy and girl. This is our world. Hello, Hugo. Oh, hi, Anna. Wow, look at those flowers. I know. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are. And they smell lovely. Your scarf is beautiful too. Thank you. It's new. It's very soft. I like your scarf. Thank you, Hugo. I like your flowers. Oh, thank you. Today, we're going to talk about our senses. We have five senses. Sight, touch, hearing, taste and smell. <laughs> we'll learn words that help us describe how things look, feel, sound taste and smell. This scarf feels soft and these flowers look beautiful. We'll hear a song about our senses and I'll tell a story called The Four Blind Men. Ready? OK, let's begin. It's time to practice some new words about our five senses. This is a tree. The outside of the tree, the bark, feels rough. This tree feels rough. It has rough bark. It smells good, though. This is a slide. A slide is smooth. A slide is smooth so that you can slide down it. These are stones. Stones feel hard. Stones come in many shapes and sizes and colours. Round, long, big, small, black, red and even green. And stones are hard. This is a kitten. A kitten's fur feels soft. Kittens are baby cats. They do have soft fur, but they have sharp teeth and claws. This is a lion. A lion's roar sounds loud. A male lion has a mane. A mane is the hair around a male lion's face. Ah! This is a sleeping baby. A sleeping baby is quiet. Shh, let's be quiet too. We don't want to wake the baby up. Let's go. OK, it's time to review the words now anyway. This is a tree. How does the tree feel? Does it feel soft, smooth or rough? The tree feels rough. Did you know that the outside of a tree is called the bark? Unscramble this word. Thank you. 
smooth. A playground slide is smooth, so you can slide down it. Fill in the blank. Stones are... Stones are hard. OK, let's try another one. Fill in the blank. A kitten's fur feels... A kitten's fur feels soft. Kittens are baby cats. They do have soft fur, but they have sharp teeth and claws. A lion's roar sounds... A lion's roar sounds loud. Did you know that the hair around a male lion's head and neck is called a mane? This baby is sleeping. How does a sleeping baby sound? Is the baby rough? Quiet or loud? The baby is quiet. Now, let's learn some words to help us describe how things feel, taste and look. This is glue. Glue is sticky. Do you use glue at school? Glue is sticky. Sometimes when it's hot outside, your skin can feel sticky too. This is a desert. A desert is a dry place. It doesn't rain much in a desert, so there isn't much water there. Mmm, -hmm. biscuits. Oh, biscuits taste delicious. Yes, biscuits do taste delicious. Do you like biscuits? What's your favourite biscuit? Ooh, yuck! What are those? They aren't delicious. Those old apples look terrible. I think you're right. They look terrible. These are flowers. I think flowers look beautiful. <gasps> Those are beautiful flowers. Look at all the colours. Oh, I love flowers. This spider is scary and Ugly. U-G-L-Y. Ugly! Well, I don't know. I think it's beautiful. Oh, OK. If you say so. OK, now, let's practice these words. This is glue. Is glue sticky, rough or loud? Sticky. Glue isn't rough and it isn't loud. Glue is sticky. Is a desert rainy or dry? A desert is... Dry. A desert is dry. Unscramble this word. Delicious. Biscuits are delicious. These old apples don't look very good. 
Do you think they taste delicious, loud, or terrible? I think they probably taste terrible. They look terrible. I love flowers. Do you think these flowers look terrible, ugly, or beautiful? Beautiful. I think flowers look beautiful. Do you remember this spider? Do most people think this spider is beautiful, smooth, or ugly? Most people think this spider is ugly. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's beautiful. Are you ready to learn some new words that describe how things taste? Great! Let's begin. This is soy sauce. Soy sauce tastes salty. I like to put soy sauce on rice and vegetables. This is medicine. This medicine tastes bitter. It's good for you, but it tastes terrible. He's eating a lemon. Lemons are a kind of fruit. Lemons taste sour. Lemons do taste sour. I like that flavour. Sometimes I like to squeeze lemon juice on my vegetables. Those are oranges. Oranges are fruit too. Oranges taste sweet. I love to eat oranges. I eat them after my football matches. Oranges can also be a little sticky too. These are peppers. All of these peppers are spicy. Do you like spicy food? Some peppers can be really spicy. Be careful if you bite into them. <sighs> Oh, hot! <laughs> Hugo, you're so silly. OK, everybody, let's review these new words now. Ready? Brilliant! <music> this is a bottle of soy sauce. How does it taste? Does soy sauce taste sweet, salty or sour? Salty. Soy sauce tastes salty. Did you know that soy sauce is made from soybeans? Unscramble this word. Bitter. Some medicines taste bitter. These are lemons. Do you remember how lemons taste? Sour. Lemons taste sour. Did you know that one lemon tree can produce hundreds of lemons in one year? How does an orange taste? Does it taste sweet, spicy or loud? Sweet. Oranges taste sweet. These are hot peppers. Are they sweet, spicy or sour? Oh, spicy. Hot 
peppers are spicy. What a lovely day. The weather looks beautiful. Red, yellow, orange, blue. The flowers are beautiful. It's time to eat. <laughs> the blanket feels soft and smooth. Mmm, the food smells delicious. Bread, soup, chicken, salad, lemonade. The chicken is delicious. The soup is spicy. The lemonade tastes sour and sweet. Time for dessert. Mmm, the cake tastes sweet. What a beautiful day. Last weekend, my family and I went hiking. I was excited. I was happy. <laughs> it was beautiful. The mountains were beautiful. But it was hot. We stopped to rest. We were thirsty. We were hungry too. Then we walked and walked. We walked up the mountain. We walked down the mountain. It was a long walk. When we got home, it was dark. We were tired but happy. The cake taste, it tastes sweet. How does the kitten feel? It feels soft. Let's count our senses. One, two, three, four, five. Listen, look, feel, taste, smell. It's great to be alive. to watch a video, Anna. Brilliant! What are we going to watch today? We're going to look at some animals and plants. We'll have a chance to use the new words we've learned. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Look at the flowers. There are lots and lots of beautiful flowers. They are beautiful. They're very colourful too. I bet they smell nice. <laughs> Bzz, here come the bees. Look at all the bees. Bees like flowers, don't they? Yes, they do. Look at this bee. Can you see what it has on its body and legs? That's called pollen. The pollen sticks to the bee. Oh, that bird is a hummingbird. 
It's drinking from this flower. It's drinking nectar. The nectar is sweet. Now, here's a lion. It's very quiet. It's hunting another animal. It has to be really, really quiet to catch the animal. This is a chameleon. Wow, look at that chameleon. It's got really rough skin, hasn't it? It has got rough skin. Look at its face, Anna. Do you think the chameleon looks ugly? No, not at all. I think it looks beautiful. Animals are interesting, aren't they? I like animals. Each animal is different and each animal is special. I agree with you, Anna. Animals are amazing. Are you ready for today's story? Well, this story is called The Four Blind Men and it's based on a folk tale from India. Let's begin. One morning, four blind men are walking through the jungle. They cannot see the beautiful trees, but they can hear them in the wind. They cannot see the wonderful flowers, but they can smell them. Suddenly, the men hear a strange sound. Something is in front of them. What is it? The first blind man puts out his hands and touches something. It feels long and strong. It wraps around his arm like a snake. Uh, it's a snake, says the man. The second blind man puts out his hands and touches something. It's thin. It feels like a rope. Aha, says this man. It's a rope. The third blind man puts out his hand and touches something. It feels tall and round. This feels like the tree next to my house, says the man. Uh, it's a tree. The fourth blind man puts out his hands and touches something. It feels hard and rough. This feels like a wall, says the man. It's a house. The blind men start to argue. It's a snake, says the first blind man. No, 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 it's a rope, says the second blind man. You are both wrong, says the third blind man. It's a tree. Ah, no, oh, it's a house, says the fourth blind man. What is it? Ask all the blind men. Suddenly, the four blind men hear a loud sound. <gasps> Aha, they all say. We know that sound. It sounds like an elephant. <coughs> it is an elephant, the blind men say. Huh, we were all wrong. Now they know that four people can see the same thing in different ways. The end. We had a great time today, didn't we, Anna? Yes, we did. We learned all about our five senses. We did. We talked about things that look beautiful, smell lovely, taste delicious, feel soft and sound loud. <laughs> That's right, Anna. We can use all of those words to describe the world around us. Well, that was wonderful. But now it's time to go. See you next time. Yes, see you next time. And we'll see you next time too. Bye! Bye.